Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I welcome you to my new amazing tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to build a AI chatbot using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So you can see that in my web page we have a beautiful chat box, and in this we have a beautiful header, a Gemini chatbot, and in this we are using Gemini API key. To get the chat response so I'll show you that also so before that here is the user input here you can ask anything anything from the chatbot in the last video I have made a chatbot using HTML CSS and, and JavaScript but in that I have hard-coded the response and the questions that is asked by user and response by the bot but in this you can ask anything anything you want so let's ask any question so let's ask who is the current prime minister of india so let's ask the chatbot so the current prime minister of india is narendra Modi. okay let's ask another thing so what is ai so when you press enter also it will message will go to the chatbot and you can see that a response artificial intelligence ai is the simulation of human intelligence processed by computer system you can see that the full response is came here and automatically it came to the down right last let's ask any other thing like uh, what is the what is the price of a bugatti so let's get the response so i can't give the exact price but uh, it gave in some details about the varying price because the day by day the price is very right so uh, in the IA is telling that you can visit the official website and you can get the real price so a uh, day by day the price is changing right that's why it's responding like that let's ask another thing like what is javascript then it will give the response see it given the response javascript is a versatile widely used programming language and you can see that when the user message right it is coming on the right side and with the profile picture of user and when the bot response it is message in the left side and bot profile picture and the response from the bot right it is so beautiful and uh, it is coming like a beautiful response from the Gemini AI bot and what AI we are going to use Gemini API key so search Gemini API key so here we will get ai.google.dev here you can see that get Gemini API key when you click on this we will go to the this docs but we no need to go to the docs so I get a Gemini API key in the Google AI studio so here you can go and here you can read the docs and here you can get the Gemini API so here you can create a new prompt you can get new API get you can click on get new API and it will give the api so below down my api key is here but i will here you can see that the api key when you click on this i have already created if you have not created you can create here get create api key and it will give a api key to you so and that api key we have to paste in our javascript code so i will explain you every and each of line of code so if you are new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe our channel and i will upload the source code of our project on github so you can easily access and run in in your laptop 
so don't worry if you have any problem you can just comment down i'll fix your errors so come to the our code so here we have a html file so index.html we have created and another file we have a style.css so and in the other way we javascript so first of all we will go with the html file right so in html i'll show you one thing how to create a boilerplate of the html so press the do this image abbreviation so this symbol you have to type and press enter automatically it will create the boilerplate for the html right and in that you can write your code so in this we have a title gemini chatbot you can see that on the top gemini chatbot then we have a link our style.css so this is the style.css our for styling our chatbot right now in body tag we have created a div in div is a like container right it is a box in this box we have given a class chat container using this class we are going to style our chatbot we can add functions on the chatbot anything we want we can add through this class and in this div we have created another div for the our heading gemini chatbot and class chat header so this chat header using this class chat header we are going to style our heading also in our css file now we have created another div it's like box right it's a box and in this box what we want a class chat message and id chat message and in this we will store our this chat between this user and bot right now we have a another div chat input container so this container is for the input right this input box and send button so we have created a input tag in this type is text you can type text user input id is user input and placeholder type your message and then we have a button send button right and it has a id send button so whenever user will click on send button it will send the message to the our chatbot and here we have a linked our javascript file script.js right now come to our css so in css we are going to style our page so without our css how our page will look i'll show you so let's misspell this and see see how our chatbot is looking see so ugly right now when you apply on style see our chatbot is looking so good right now come to style.css so for our body body means this whole page this whole page in this we want the font family this is the font family name so and here we have a margin a padding zero so if you don't know what is margin here when you click on this you will go to the mdn reference open it and you will see a magic that what is margin one rm so if one rm so it's look like this so this outside space when you click margin 5% see 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 the margin if margin is 0 no space between this box and if margin is 1 so it created a space around it right so i am want to tell you that if you don't know anything what is margin what is padding right you just hover on it here it will give a mdn reference click on it read that and you will understood right so we have a style our body right and here now we have a chat container so this chat container right this we have given the class the class in this class and class start with the dot right so if you want to style start with the dot and uh, it has width is 100 percent maximum width 400 background 
and we have a border radius and then we have a box shadow and this overflow hidden so if anything flow out of our div so it will be hidden and display flex flex means it will show in a row and flex direction column so when you do column so column means right one this is the jamie chart board here another div will be this now so one by one below on each other right if you don't know this just click on this go to the difference open it and it will give the explanation of the flex so this is the flex row so it is in a row direction so row reverse so now item 3 is in first when is row is simple item 1 is in first so it will be reversed right column is c line by line one by one below so this is the thing we are using in our chatbot right and column reverse means see it in the last div will go on top and the first div will come down the last so it will be reversed so this is the simple thing so i'm going to explain you each and every point in this so don't worry and here you can reference also go to the mdn reference and read it if you have any doubt if you have a background color for our chatbot and uh, here and a color is this text color is white this is the hex color code and uh, padding and we have a text align center so text will be should be in center then margin we have margin means i have shown you right now so margin is zero for our heading and font size 1.5 rm and then chat message for the chat message flex grow one and padding will be 20 and overflow from the y direction it will be auto this automatically it will take its overflow then for the message class so in the message class you can see that where is our message class where it is i think this message class we will be using in script.js so that's message class is not here so i will show you the javascript also so don't worry so here we have a line item flex start so item will be start from the here the corner right so this is for this and the margin bottom 15 pixel so from the bottom it has a 15 pixel space right and uh, we have a content so whatever the content will be in the this box right this box when the user type something hi so whatever the message message and bot response will be it will be in the this message content and padding for that padding will be 10 border radius 5 and uh, maximum width 70 percent so you can see that it's taking 70 percent width right maximum so that today is come to the next line you can see that see and uh, and uh, we have a user message right when the user message row is reverse means user message on this side and uh, chatbot message in this side so how we are doing this row reverse so it is in reverse direction right and if user message content is there so for user message content we want the color code of the background is and margin is right so you can see that the color of the user and for the bot message the background color will be this and the margin left is this you can see that here right now we have a profile image also so for image we want to height width 30 pixel border radius object fit cover so this the image you can see it's looking beautiful if you apply this style it will look so good and the chat input container so flex display flex padding 15 and background color you can see this type you can see that and in this container we have a user input so flex grow one and uh, padding 10 pixel and border and we have a border radius font size background color outline none so the, you can see that so after applying this 
out input box will look so good and for the send button similarly we have a padding and uh, background color we have we have a color of the text in the button you can see that the send button is white right then uh, border none so no border will be and the border radius 5 pixel margin left 10 pixel thin cursor will be pointer and font size will be one rem so this is the rem is the like we are using pixel right so so similarly we are using rem so if you don't know go to the mdn reference and read it out so right when you hover this color will change for the send button you can see that see the color is changing and uh, the button will when button will be disabled background color will be this a cursor not allowed so cursor not allowed means red one so it it will not show now so when you will show i'll show you so when i show you so see now butter is see for the some time it show the see i'll show you again look carefully when i when i hover on it right now it's changing hand so when i until the response come from the gemini ai right till that our button and input box will be disabled right we can't send any message till the one task is completed we can't give any other message so i'll show you look carefully it will wait for a second right see 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 the red dot came right here the round circle so th that's why we can't uh, send another message till the that message has completed that we have sent it before so one task after this another task will occur now here we have a media media we are using media query so for for the responsiveness so our chatbot is responsive also so let's see see our chatbot is fully responsive for the mobile devices also you can see that right so to make this just chat container 100 vh and border zero so it will be responsive and for the scroll bar width 8 pixel and background color and uh, we have a thumb this color background and we have a border areas and hover background so it will show when let's write something something long what is react so now it will come see this this scroll bar is came right so you can see that the hover effect also the scroll bar. i'll zoom it and show you see see it's changing right and i hover on it so this is the simple things styling so how user can interact with your website so for that we are for the user uh, better experience we are using style.css right so now we will come to the important part javascript so let's see our javascript here we are in javascript right and in javascript first of all we have defined a constant variable api key so here in the here we have to in in this single quotation we have to copy and paste your api key that will come from this gem here get api key we will create an api key copy that and paste it here right and here is the api url so this is the url from where our response will come right whenever user send it some question message right so from this the response will come i will increase the size little bit now you can see more clearly and uh, here we have created a chat message variable and it is get so whenever we want to get any element from this html right if you want this uh, what we want chat message this chat message right so to get this we have using get element by id so when you use this this chat message div we want to use for what we want to place our messages in this that div that box right in this box all the chat will be there so 
so for that we are using get element by id so document dot get element by ID. if you don't know this simple thing just go and search on the mdn i have shown you before in the css so there you go and search then similarly for the user input we have created a variable so by id user input and i have explained you with the comment also so if you don't know this what the code is doing so you can visit my source code see the source code you will get all this explanation below down right so here you can see the get the dom element with the id user input and which is the input field where user can type any message so this id we want to take and in this id right in this id which is linked to the input box there what functionality we want to add so to add this we have to get that element in our javascript right then we can apply some functionality to it right now we have a send button so it will send the button right so when the user click on send button what function will ha happen right for that we will apply the functionality on the send button also so one by one we are getting the element from the html file now we have a async function so async await we are using whenever we are calling the uh, data from the other api external library or anything so i always use async so if any delay or any error will come it will suddenly it will show it will not uh, crash your website right it will it will be safe to get the data and then it will show otherwise it will show error in your website so always use async await so whenever we are getting the response from any api or external library so here we are using async function and the name of the function is generate response so with this function we are going to generate the response from the api whenever user send message it will should generate the response then we are going to prompt what the prompt we want to pass so whenever prompt will be any any parameter right we are giving what is react what is this so whatever the user will type that's take as a prompt right here you can see that the text as user input as prompt i have mentioned each and every explanation of this code so don't worry you can read the code i'll explore this code on the github you can get it there no now we have a response variable in this through this variable we are going to fetch so here async here await when you are creating function use async when the fetching that data from the api url here you have to write await when you are fetching the api with this api key so here the api url we have created and api key right above so this api url and api key we are using through this what we want to send to the this url so say if you are sending something to the any api right what we are doing post method send data to the api you can see that post is a http method to send the data to the api so i've explained each and every line of code you can see that down and headers contain type json so whenever response will come it will be in json form and we will convert it into a string and here you can see that the body dot json dot stringify and the body request converting the user message into format by the api you can see that i will it is converting the user message into the format required by the api so whenever user will message the api won't understand our message right it it will be converted in the format in which the ai can understand the api can understand in that format it will convert right if it our ai is understanding our simple text message it will be it will be converted in the, if you want in another format it will be converted into that format so 
we are using stringify so it will be converting the string format and content in this content we have passed the parts so this is the content and part where it's coming from i'm not writing by myself here you can see the contents content type i json parts and the text in text we have to pass the user input so here user input is what prompt so whenever user is sending something so that text when will be go to the this api url if the response is okay sorry it is response is not okay here you can see not operator right before response okay means 200 the code so if it is not okay right it will throw an error throw new error fail to generate response it will not generate response and uh, here is the data so data variable will be created and this the response whatever the response will come await response dot json so this response this is the response where whenever response came from this api that will convert it to the json format and then from that json how it will show in json format i'll show you so i will console dot log data so let's see and before that i have to paste my api key so i will do it copy and paste so now i will show you the json so if you send anything hi what is css and i'll show you the response in the inspect in the console here you will see let's send the now it will show a json in the console see the json came right the response came from in that we have a candidate 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 we have a zero index in this we have a content in this content we have a part and in this part we have a at zero index we have a the response the real response see how it's long so when you hover in it you can see that the same response css stand for custodian style sheet and the same response it has been shown here in our see in the yes you see in the our chatbot and here you see the in the response match the same words the same thing is in the our bot also and the same thing is in our response also so this how the json format response will come we will take this only the text only and it will the text will show here so how to get this text and show to the our bot so here if response came right if response came then it is converting to json i have shown you now and uh, here data dot candidate i've shown you in data we have a candidate in we have a zero index and contained in that we have parts we have a zero index and text in this text response was there right i have shown you just now right so this text we want so we are returning this text and this text we will show in the div right div and if you have seen that uh when i was showing you the json format right in that the response we have a some hashtags right symbols star and that is showing in our in our response right in the json format so to remove this we have written this function clean markdown so we will call this as a markdown like hashtag asterisk right so to remove that we are using return text so the text in that response this text will come right so in this text if we have this star uh, sorry the hashtag then we'll replace it the nothing so we will remove it if it is slash star slash star asterisk right 
it will remove and it will be empty instead of that and here we have a replace the this slash 3 and so with the new line here you can see the limit extra to new line so we can write your own to get the beautiful response from the data and uh, here we are using trim to if it has any spaces between the response and then now we have created a function add message so we got the message right so we want to show to the our this this box right how we will show so we have created a function that in this we have passed a parameter the message and if the message is user so for the user and if the message is bought so how it will show so we have defined this function we have created a message element in this we have created a div so div here in the html we are creating the div like this so in javascript how you create a div using document dot create element and here pass what you want to create div so here we pass the div and in this we are adding a class message right here we are adding a class chat container similarly in javascript we used to do add a class with this syntax message this element we have created in and we have stored in this constant in this we want to add a class class list means class add what what we want to message the message class we want to to this div like in html we are using this div and in this we are adding this class chat container similarly we are doing the same thing in the javascript right so and the if the class list add user means we are adding another class we have added the message class right so this is the message which can be it will be user message also it will be the bot message also so if the user message is there you add another class user message and if bot message is there it add bot message class so this is the ternary operator right if you don't know this just go and search on the mdn reference it will get the all the design so this is the question mark we are adding the ternary operator using this like question mark and if the user if it is user then add this user message the class name is user message and if it's bot it is bad so you can see that i've explained the code also by commenting right now we have created a profile image constant variable in this we have created a image tag we are creating an image tag like we create in html similarly we are creating in javascript and in this we are adding a class profile image right the image tag have a class profile image in that if the image source we are adding the source of the image so in image tag we used source right src like here let's i'll show you img so you have a src right right source means what image you want to show so if it is user so user dot jpg means user image otherwise bot jpg so here i uh, given the user and bot jpg in our file right so it will show according to the jpg let's write anything high so here is the user jpg user image here is the uh, bot image sorry i encountered any the please tag so it's giving the error so because if i have removed the api key so so it is showing the error right so if you had any error it will show beautifully that's why i have used that async await and i'll show you the how to show the catch and throw and finally in the below code wait for it and here in the alt alt is the text if the user is not found a text in place of that we want to show user right and the bot so let's let's if its image is not found right we have misspelled the image now if i type something so see it's showing something a text right image is 
not there right so in that of it will show a text user and bot if the image is not found so these are the simple HTML CSS right and here we have a message content so if the message content means we are creating a div in this div we want to place all the message content by the user and the bot in this we have add a class message content and and the whatever the message will be added so a text content so this is the text content approach so in the text content to add the content text type so text content property it references the text content of the node and so here if you want to add to this text content to the div div dot text content right so we are getting the text from the user and the bot so that uh, how we can add to the this message div right this div right how we add so using this text content so like we are using the class list right we are using class list to add the class so similar we are using text content to add the text which is from the user and the bot so this message is the message from the user and the bot that we want to add to the this div and in this we want to append the profile image so profile image that if it is the bot image that will be append append means it will be added to the response if it is bot the bot image will be appended to the message and the message content will also appended to that image right the message with the user the message what is the response came the bot it will it is with the bot image right so append child means to append uh, the element any child element you want to append is you want to add a link with that so you are using append and the message element so message element you can see what is the message element come below the message element is this div we have created right this everything we are using here and a scroll on top equal to chat message scroll height so you can go to the mdn request and it so i will explain you now also so whenever we are when we uh, get the long response and our this whole box is filled so it will show a scroll bar that i have shown you before and uh, that scroll bar when you message the message will go automatically on top it will come to the end right let's write something so let's make it a scroll bar let's fill our container with this so see it's suddenly come to the bottom so it suddenly come to the bottom right so according to the height the our scroll bar is getting down see so using this property if you remove this let's remove this let's see now so let's i'll show you anything you we message so so now you can see that the our scroll bar is in the top right it is not in the bottom when you scroll it will go to the bottom right so for automatically scroll to the bottom we use this right now you understand so here we have created a function the user input to handle the user input we are creating async function and when the user message the user input dot value dot trim so user input is what this whenever the user type here user input that message in the this input type right so this message how we will get so this message is dot value if you use dot value it will get the value what you have type in the input box and dot tree means if you have given any space in the asking any question to the bot so it will trim the space will be removed and that will message will be stored in this variable if the user message is there add message to the user means add message we have created above so here the message will be added in our div 
right and it will be true it will not be in pity what is why is it is true so here in that is user means user is true right the user we have passed the parameter user so handle user input so here user message is true it is a user message right so that's why it is true otherwise it will be false so here user input value equal to mpt so whenever the user send the message automatically our input box will be mpt whenever now input is filled when you send the message our input box is mpt right so for the this it is your input value equal to this mpt single code and here the button will be disabled true and user input disabled too so i have shown you before only whenever the uh, user message until the task one is completed the response has to come that time in between that time our input box and send button will be disabled it will not work when the user a uh, bot response is came task is completed then it will uh, able right so here is in try catch and finally so try is if the image generate response the jet generate response we created a function above to fetch the data and if the user message user message we have passed the user message right the whenever you just send a message to the function it will go to that api if the bot message came here the bot message the clear markdown so if any hashtag and anything is there i've shown you the before the function to clear the hashtag and hashtag it will clear from the bot response and it would add to this add message and the here it is using false false means it is not the uh, user user message it is the bot message so here it was true right here because it was the user message when the bot message there it is false so in add message we have a two parameters the message from the bot and the uh, it is not the bot so it will add the bot response and, and it will be bot image right so for that and here catch error if it is error anything it will show the error and sorry i encountered any error here they have written the custom error message and it, it has a parameter also false so because it is not a user that's why we are at false here you can see that the same message is displaying and finally we want to disable false and disable false and input focus so whenever so now input is now it is not disabled when i when i high so it is disabled right now see and now when the response came it is able right and automatically our input box is focused right it was automatically focused means it is uh, already you can type anything so it will already focused so here we are using add event listener click handle user input so whenever user will click on the send button so then then this function will work handle user input right otherwise it will not work and one more thing how one for the user click on the send button then it will work one when the user press enter key that time it should also work right so for that we are added this function user input dot key press right key press it means key is pressing right event event means user is doing some changes on our right and here if the key is enter means you have press the enter button and not with the shift key so check if the enter key is pressed and shift is not held that time only it send the response if shift and enter both are held so it will not send the message to the user a uh, sorry bot and even default default means for that adding a new line so default behavior whenever user is messaging so this is the event prevent default means default behavior of the input and here handle user input so this function will be called so whenever user will type here right enter anything and when press enter i am pressing enter 
this function will be called and this function what you do is send the message to the bot and the response come from the bot so this how we have created our chatbot ai chatbot using html css and javascript so hope you guys like our video and hope you share our project and this tutorial and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share with your friends so thanks for watching we'll meet in next video with a new amazing project so thank you